हरियो इन द सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियरिंग कोर्स वी आर करेंटली डिस्कसिंग दि ब्लैक बॉक्स टेस्टिंग स्ट्राटी अंडर साफ्टवेर टेस्टिंग इन विच इन द प्रीवियस् वीडियो वी हव् डिस्क वन आफ द टेक्निक ब्लैक बॉक्स टेस्टिंग विच इज कॉस एफेक्ट ग्राफिंग टेक्निक we have seen the weakness of boundary value analysis and equivalence partitioning is that these do not explore combinations of input circumstances because these consider only single input conditions but combinations of inputs may result in some of the interesting situations also so these kind of situations should also be tested when you have the functional testing or which you call as the black box testing the cause effect graphing technique is the one where we can have combinations of different input conditions and not only that this technique gives you a set of test cases that can identify or that can discover lots of errors comparing to other techniques and we have also discussed if i want to have cause effect graphing technique it includes five different steps where in the first step we identify the causes and effects in the specifications that will be identified and then the semantic content of the specification will be analyzed and transformed into boolean graph which you call as the cause effect graph and then the graph will be annotated with different kinds of constraints if any then once the constraints are imposed in the fourth step we will be converting the graph into a limited entry decision table then these decision table will be converted into test cases this is how the cause effect graphing technique will work and we have also discussed was what are the different uh, basic symbols used in the cause effect graphing technique in our previous video now in this video we are going to discuss a simple example which i have collected from the npetel video lecture now this is the example which we are going to have this is the situation of our program let us assume if the bank deposit is less than 1 lakh the rate of interest will go like this 6% will be given for the deposit up to 1 year and the 7% rate of interest for the deposit between 1 year and 3 years and 8% of rate of interest for 3 years and above and if the deposit amount is more than 1 lakh the rate of interest will be something like this 7% of rate of interest for deposit up to 1 year and 8% between 1 and 13 sorry 3 years and 9% of rate of interest for 3 years and above period so this is the current situation that is going on in our program let us assume now if this is the case if this is your program situation the first step is we have to identify what are the different causes and what are the different effects now if i see this particular condition i can easily specify the effects will be applying 6 percentage 7 percentage 8 percentage or 9 percentage of rate of interest while calculating the amount the effect will be what is the percentage of rate of interest we have to impose on that is what the effect comes in our program now if i want to have these kinds of effects i have to check for some of the input conditions which will be combinations what is the combination what is the amount being deposited and what is the period of deposit 
so if the amount is less than 1 lakh and the period is up to 1 year the rate of interest will go like 6 percentage or let me put it this way if the deposit amount is more than 1 lakh and the rate of interest is sorry if the deposit amount is more than 1 lakh and the deposit period is 3 years and above the rate of interest goes with 9 percentage so in general by I understanding the situation I can have the causes and the effects listed like this so the causes will be according to the situation according to the situation here what are the different causes you have you can have deposit less than one year or the deposit period may be between one year and three years or the deposit period may be three years these are the three causes based on the period the same way these are the two causes for based on the amount deposit amount is less than one lakh and the deposit amount is greater than or equal to 1 lakh. So these are the different causes that you can identify from the given situation. And when you see the effects, we have already discussed the effects can be 6%, 7%, 8% or 9% rate of interest being imposed on the amount deposit. These are the different effects you are going to have in your situation or in your program scenario now if this is the case let us assume for 7 percentage rate of interest what are the two conditions that you have here what are the two conditions you have here according to the situation the first condition is if the deposit amount is less than 1 lakh and the period is between 1 and 3 the rate of interest will be 7 or if the deposit amount is greater than 1 lakh and the year is greater than 1 year also the rate of interest goes with 7 percentage. Or if you take 9 percentage rate of interest for this particular effect the deposit period must be greater than 3 years and the deposit amount must be greater than 1 lakh. So this is how I will be finding the semantic content specification between the effect and the causes. These are the two causes that are related to this particular effect. In the same way this is one of the cause that is related to this particular effect. So in the first step what you have done identify the causes and effects. In the second step you have identified the semantic content of the specification which you have analyzed and transformed them into the causes and the effects relationship. So once you have identified the semantic content based on this content we go for drawing the cause effect graph. So I have listed the causes on the left hand side I have listed the rate sorry the effects on the right hand side right. So C4 I have taken you can observe here C4 is for deposit amount less than 1 lakh and C5 deposit amount greater than or equal to 1 lakh and C1, C2, C3 deposit period less than 1 year between 1 and 3 and greater than 3 years. This is how it goes. Okay. Now for the effect 1 which is the rate of interest 6 percentage what you have to do? You have to identify so when do you have the rate of interest 6 percentage go back to the program situation it says if the amount is less than 1 lakh and the deposit period is up to 1 year that means less than 1 year then we go for 6 percentage. So what do you have to do if cost 1 which is deposit less than 1 year and cost 4 which is deposit amount less than 1 lakh. If these two conditions are satisfied in the AND case, we go with effect 1. If these two conditions are added together, so C4 and C1 will give us the effect 1. Then let us see what is leading to effect 2. 
so if i want rate of interest 7 percentage either you must have deposit less than 1 lakh and the period between 1 and 3 years this is one case this is one case what is the first case amount must be less than 1 lakh and the deposit period must be between 1 and 3 years and the second condition is the amount sorry the deposit period may be less than 1 year but the deposit amount must be greater than or equal to 1 lakh if this also the condition then you can have rate of interest as 7 percentage so what i do these cos 4 and cos 2 must be satisfied together or cos 5 and cos 1 must be satisfied together if any of these condition arises in your program that will take me to effect 2 or let us see what leads to rate of interest 8 percentage what leads to rate of interest 8 percentage if let us go back to the program situation if you want if the deposit amount is less than 1 lakh years must be greater than 3 or if the deposit amount is more than 1 lakh years must be between 1 and 3 these are the two situations right so let us see for effect 3 if deposit period is greater than 3 year amount can be less than 1 lakh so this is one case what is the second case if the deposit period is 1 and 3 if the deposit period is 1 and 3 and the deposit is greater than 1 lakh that also will lead you to e3 which is rate of interest 8 percentage so c4 and c3 combined together or c2 and c5 combined together any of these two cases will take me to effect 3 and the last one if deposit amount is greater than or equal to 1 lakh and it is the period is greater than 3 years then combine them together using and case that will lead you to rate of interest 9 percentage right so this is how i will construct the cause effect graph for each and every conditions and the combination of conditions that will lead you to the effects now once the concept of graph is completed you go for constructing the decision table so what do you do here construct the decision table and in the decision table you will have list of causes and you will have list of effects now what is the one that leads you to effect one if c1 and c4 are if c1 and c4 are appearing together that will take you to effect 1 so c1 and c4 together will take you to effect 1 what are the two cases that will take you to effect 2 c1 and c5 sorry c1 and c5 c1 and c5 or c2 and c4 c2 and c4 c1 and c5 or c2 and c4 together will give you effect 2 right and then what will take you to effect 3 effect 3 f for effect 3 you have the what is this condition c5 and c2 so c5 and c2 will take you to effect 3 and i'm sorry this is not one this is zero effect 3 c2 and c5 together or c3 and c4 
C3 and C4 will also take you to effect 3. Any of this. C2 and C5. C2 and C5. Or C3 and C4. Go to the decision table. C2 and C5 will take you to effect 3. C3 and C4 will also take you to effect 3. Now the last one, effect 4, which is 9 percentage, C3 and C5. You can see here, C3 and C5 together will take you to effect 4. So this is how we draw the decision table for the cause effect graph. So once the decision table is drawn, the best thing is you go for listing the test cases. So you will list one test case for testing the effect 1, two test cases for testing effect 2, two test cases for testing effect 3 and one test case for effect 4. So these are the valid situations. Apart from that you can have one or two invalid situations also that will lead you to no effects in your program situations. This is how we will do the testing using the cause effect graphing technique. So let us discuss more about the software testing in the upcoming video. Thank you.